everybody welcome it's scarlet peat self-sufficiency and you join me with my machine knitting series and we're still well it should be the last on my tabitha collection the tabitha tabard is a lovely design i've come up with for everybody a simple garment that you can all knit very easily and knit along to there's been a five or six part series showing you exactly how to knit it everything from writing the pattern to fitting the perfect neck so now I'm going to show you how to stitch it up using a Hague linker. Right, on the pattern, if you've watched along, you will see that I marked the armpits. And if I just tilt my machine here, you'll see on my Hague linker here at the top, I can show you, it has a centimetre guide. Those two things are going to be important in the way we're going to use. Oops, just dropped something, picking it up. How are we going to stitch this up? Now Tabitha Tabard is designed to be stitched together on the right side so I want to show the stitch line. I don't want it as a traditional seam. So I'm going to take the marker that is on the armpit. Let's see, we'll start it here. And the marker that is on the armpit on the front, so that's the back. Oops, I dropped it. Let me put it here for you to see. The back and the front both have markers and those markers are to help us put it together perfectly. When we're doing this we want to know how much to stretch and fit the other side. So however far this goes around and we put it on our machine we're going to want to know how many centimetres that was on the Hague. So I'm going to hook this on onto the zero point with the centimetres which is just here. I'm going to hook on as if I'm doing a mattress stitch seam. So if you look at the earlier video, you'll see me using a mattress stitch to stitch on the neck band, or stitch up the neck band. And I just put it on, just push that onto the machine. Just the first stitch is hooked on. And you can go wibbly wobbly and don't care where you put it, but if you do, you get a really rubbish join. So let's take a bit of care and just find that first stitch and when you put it on you should see one stitch only taken up. I'm not stretching it too much I'm just gently easing it on but what is important is the point where the rib starts, the welt and the thickness of the seam you use. The more you use the ribber, the blinker, the more you'll find what I'm saying is it quite easy to do. Right, I've now got to the point here of where the rib is. So I need to marry that up on this side where this rib is. We don't want the rib on one side stretched crazy out of shape. So we've just got to mark in our mind's eye, there's the rib point. So that's going to go on like that. And once again, Oops, let's push that on. I'm just taking that one stitch width in the seam. Sometimes it helps to have nails because you can push it in. I'm just going to keep going along now and add on the welt, the rib. Don't stretch the rib out too much. Scrunch it up a tiny bit on here. And when we're knitting a uh, chunky yarn, we can use a matching similar colour in four ply, but don't really want to do it using a chunky yarn. There we go. That's the welt on. In a minute, we'll get the telephone off the stand and I'm doing the other side. I will show you how to put it on. But let's just put this up first. So here's my marker that's going to go on a zero point on the stitch guide on here centimeters. I'm going to hook that up at the same point. So that means the armpit is going to be a uniform size and the jumper garment won't be skewed in any way. I'm just pushing that on and as I keep saying this is going to be top stitched. So I'm going to show this in the divot here, the divot of the rib is going to be where the stitch line is going to be on this. So that's one stitch wide. 
So I put on each side, front and top and bottom, or bits there, see, and now I'm going to lump here. And what we do is take the middle and measure that and put the middle on. So we're not stretching it. It's all about keeping it nice and even. Just hook it on. But my camera person is sat on the sofa at the moment, aren't yeah. you, dear? Drinking she's, a cup of tea. She's drinking a cup of tea. She doesn't want to come and film at the moment, so you're going to have to put up with this side being done like this. Well, you didn't ask me to come and film. Yeah, I didn't ask, did so. I? I just suddenly said, right, I'm stitching up this. And you can do it by yourself. So. Yeah, I can do it by myself for now. But I will need you in a minute, dear. Hmm. 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 Mm. It's a bit fiddly and it can be a bit sore on the fingers this job you can get sore fingertips like playing the harp because I played a harp many years ago I did anyhow and you used to get awful blisters on the end of your fingers and it's very similar right if let me just go here and show you a little tip if this was an inside joint not a top stitching I would take these ends and I would wind them in and out in and out all the way and then in and out in and out back over the little linker hooks and then I would just snip them off because they'd be stitched in but as this is a top seam I'll need to hide them inside the work now remember what I said we started on zero we've gone all the way around and we've gone to let's see 38 centimeters so the next seam on this side I need to do the same I need to measure it and put it at 38 centimeters I'm going to leave in the markers just in case for some reason I had to undo the seam. I'm going to push forward the linker to the beginning, put my yarn free flowing, and all I'm going to do is turn the handle. So let's pull these out of the way, holding them up for now. When you first stitch with the linker, Lily, I really could, oh, well, I'll show it on the next bit. When you stitch with the linker, you really need to make sure you've caught the loop on the first stitch, which it just has done now. And once again, this end would be woven in and then woven back on itself every second little sinker hook if this wasn't a top seam. So all I'm going to do now is just stitch all the way around. Join me in a minute. Nearly at the end. Right, now we're at the end, we're done, I'm going to come around here, pull some yarn, let's get it out, push, push the needle in and push off the thread by moving the little arm here. The thread is now off, the needle's going to come out and I'm going to pull some yarn out of the feed here. Oops. Break it. And remember that it was 38, wasn't it, we said? And pull off the hooks, the garment, right at the end here. We need to pull the loop through. Like that and now that seam is complete so what we're going to do now is get a certain film lady the camera lady just done we're going to pull out the markers we're going to get the camera lady to come and hold the camera and show you how to do it so we have top stitched this seam and the buttons are going to go one two three four and I'm going to touch stitch the other seam from the front like I have, otherwise we'll end up with this black line on the front, which we don't want. We want the black line on the back to match the same as this, as the armpit. So let's get to, let's get to it. Let's show up here. So I'd like to show everybody where the measurements are. So let's get to the I'm going to just put this around there. Can you see these measurements? I'm going to start on zero and we went all the way around to 38 centimeters so my zero point 
This time will be where the welt is because I've turned the garment around. So let's put that. And if you can you see here, we've got like the edge stitch. That edge stitch is going to be the bit that goes on. I don't know what you call these. They're like the hooks, the linker hooks. And just move it around. And we're putting it on wrong side to wrong side because we're top stitching and I'm going along gently not stretching too much but now I'm going to twist it all the way around get my slipper off the arm on the floor and find 38 can you see 38 35 36 37 38 there it is so I've got my marker point and I'm going to hook that on 38, which is there. So that's controlling how much I stretch this seam. And as I said before, you can set up, put up a bit in the middle and then another bit in the middle. And then you get the attention even all the way along. But I'm just going to carry on pushing this on. It's a bit of a fiddle. It's like a wriggle and a wiggle with your fingers just to squish it on. You can put your finger underneath and your thumb and this is how you get sores on your thumbs and your fingers because you're just touching the needly points there we go and the can you see work well to stop that mm, thimble might but I'm not sure whether it would give you the dexterity you need to be able to do the job let's just hook this on The more time and neatness you do here, the better the look of your garment, the finishing off. There we go. Just like that. And then all the way up to here. Like that. So we've got one side on. And now the marker from the other side comes into play. Remember, leave the marker in place on the garment, but try not to split it on these points. Isn't this one 38? Yeah, 38 there. So well, it's approximately that. it's one point out. Yeah. That doesn't really matter. I thought you were meant to be a perfectionist. I am a perfectionist, but that's just taking it too far, even for me. So you're not a perfectionist. <gasps> for goodness sake! Give me strength. Because that annoys me and I must be a better perfectionist than you are. Yeah, you must be. You're just, no, I won't say. Well, you're just in the a, family. Mm. All right. We're just going to keep going all the way along now, feeding it on. Just like that. And if this was not a top stitch seam, you could could be a little less careful. And let me just show you what I meant about, say this was an end here and I wanted to weave it in. I would go up, down, up, down for a few points, then back on the alternate ones like that. Like that. I would stitch along and just snip off and that would be it. Mm -hmm. Stitched in the ends. There's no need to hand stitch them in. But as this is a top seam, we have to take a little more time and stitch it by hand. I'm feeling nervous because I can hear the puppies out and about. Where are you going? Oh, it's your dog. We've got a new little Amstaff puppy. Well, little is Amstaff and little don't go together, do they? Not no. in the slightest. She's about 15, 18 kilos. That's how many weeks old is she? She's not 15, 18 kilos. She's got to be. She was 12 and a half kilos about three weeks ago. She's definitely not 18 kilos. Okay, we're going to have to settle this later with weighing the puppy. Mm. But um, she's big. She is over 12 kilos. We'll put it that way. Mm. Right, here's the rib. Where did the rib start point? Is there. Let's find the rib start point here. Yep, yeah, and it's spot on. Oh, see, the perfectionist strikes again. <laughs> Yeah, put it one before 38. Oh! It's ridiculous, though. Why would you choose to put it on 37 if you could 37. put it on 38? 37.9!
It's not 38 though, is it? It's 37.9. Shush. Not talking to you. She's being horrible to me again. Oh, that right. looks nice. Doesn't it just? So this yarn's now going to pull down out of the way, ready to be stitched in. The yarn is in the thing. Check it's free flowing. I should have the top on, but I can't find it. So I'm going to just hold it like that. I'm going to bring the machine around to the starting point. One point before. You're going to have to come and film over this shoulder because I need to turn it around. Yeah. Yeah. So we turn the handle gently and make sure, can you see in here, there's a loop formed on this little bootleg there. And we have to check that that bootleg has caught the loop. I'm holding down with this finger the end and the first stitch is formed when it stabs the bootleg. Let me just check, there's a camera in the way. That's it, yeah, that's fine. We need to check that it doesn't split the thread. And it's causing a daisy chain stitching up. It's like a crochet. Let me just check where my yarn's going. Oh, hang on, it's stuck here, there we go, that's better. This is the Hague hand linker. I also have a Hague uh, electric, electric linker, which is easier to use. But this is hand crank and just goes plodding on. I have three Hague linkers. One day I'll end up selling a couple of them, but at the moment, they're staying with me. stitch up because this machine will not tolerate um, chunky yarn and I've not pulled these out yet just in case the seam goes wrong and I still need to redo it. I'll just carry on. Right, pulling this out of the way. We want to knock the stitch off the bootleg. So here at the front, I push it, and the bootleg is now empty and released. I pull the needle out, like that. I pull, pull out some extra yarn, pull it through the needle, towards the knitting like that and I'm going to snap it I'm going to pull off starting at this end pull off the work like that mm -hmm. there should be now a loop on here and to finish it off I'm just going to pull the loop through which leaves us this one end to um, remove, stitch in, and then I have these two markers to take out because they're no longer needed. We have a fairly invisible seam on the front. We have a nice straight line on the back, which we have on this side as well, both matching, which is what I wanted. And I'm just going to get the buttons out and stitch the buttons on with you in a moment. How's it look, Lil? Quite good. Quite. Okay, only quite. Hmm. Right, press pause while I go find the buttons. Right, it's button time. I'm going to put three buttons. One at the point of the rib. One at the edge of the armpit. And then fold the garment in, in half here, button to button. And I'll find the exact centre point. Last time I did this, I put four buttons on. And getting the centre measurement here was quite difficult. But then I decided if I had two like that, folded in half, the centre point is where number three goes. Whoops, dropped the phone. There you go. What do you think? Does that look good? 
So we're going to stitch a button on. I'm sure you stitched buttons on before, but I always use double thread because then that means half as many stitches. We've got these lovely wooden buttons that are going to go on. So I'm going to stitch on the first one. Camera lady for Lily, are you going to hold the camera? Yes, in one second. Oh dear, she'll be joining the union next and wanting pay in. Thank you. Top of my rib, last row. I'm going to find the centre point here. I'm stitching through front and back, stitching it together so it'll have a bit of a waist. Stitching to secure first, just an over and over and over stitch. Maybe twice or three times. I thought it only had buttons on one side. It has. The last one I did, I put buttons on both sides, which I rather like. But today I don't have very many buttons left over. So I'm having to do it this way. Three buttons on each side of the garment rather than back and front. But I think it's quite nice having it back and front. Because then it looks good from both directions. Like Let's just check this is in the middle rather than me gossiping. Let's have a look. Why is it not on one side, though? I like it on one side. It is on one side. Well, oh, you yeah, mean only on one, on one yes, side? Yes, of course. Well, we could do that. That's an option. You no, can... I mean, just there. Forget this side. Put it on the other I side as well. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. What are you yes, doing? I quite like that, but this is the design now. I've done it. I'm sorry. Gang, who's listening, if you could comment, what would you do? Only one side and front and back of that one side, or both sides of the garment? We should have discussed this before because Lily, whose garment it is, wanted it on one side only. But sorry. Yeah, it's not actually going to be my garment, is it? Well, you might fall in love with it and keep it. We've measured it to fit her. But um, I think if Lily doesn't want it, it will be for sale. Mm -hmm. Not that I don't appreciate it being made for me. I know, but you, you wanted one with sleeves, really. Mm -hmm. And everybody wanted this Tabitha Tabard design showing them how to do it. So um, we used Lily as the model. What else could we do when she's such a beautiful girl? <laughs> right, there we go, button stitched on. Now I need to go up here and stitch the button on here, then I can fold it out in half and find the centre point. Yeah, it's actually quite good with just the one button, I think, maybe. Get off, I'm not doing it very uneven and I only like having... That. No, 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 it's not happening. So I'm just going to finish off by taking this thread, the yarn, to the side seam. Why do you get more creative and put like flower petals over the net, either sides of the buttons and then they have a little stalk going down? Okay, yes, well, I think um, we'll have a go at that in the future. And I think it would be nice to have that, yes, but... It would be very easy. But this is a variegated fabric. You're not really going to see your chain stitching on this. You know what you could do? Mm. You could crochet the flower, put it underneath the button, and put the button on top, sew it together, and it'd be good sorted. Actually, that would be really good. We could do a big crocheted flower underneath. Yeah, I do like that idea. Yeah, I'm May full of good ideas. If you like the idea of that gang, and uh, you want Lily proved right on this, <laughs> her... What I would say is comment below, and if you really want to see it, I will knit a sample, and I will knit, crochet, sorry, the flower and stitch the button on top, and you can tell me what you think of it. But the other thing is what we could do, we could do that on the front of the garment. I'm just threading in. Oh, sorry, I'm not telling you what I'm doing. I've taken my yarn to the side. I've come all the way down to the side seam here and found some end bits that need stitching in. So when I'm stitching it on one, I might as well stitch them all in. So they're all going into the needle here. You're rubbish at threading needles. It's because I can't see. Oh, <laughs> it was in. No, it wasn't. I'll just try again. Then the light it's not in. The light is so dull. I think we're gonna have to pause. No, I will do it. <laughs> we try one more time. <laughs> bear um, with. So we could you yeah, bear with? Bear with. Bear with. Uh we could make a Oh it would help if I did it from the front. Uh, um, oh, uh, oh nearly. We could make that crochet design and fix it to the front of the garment. If that is an option and you like that idea, please, oh, I did it, comment and I will um, do that for you guys if you like that idea. Can you keep your hands in one place? Oh, sorry. It's up there again. What are you doing up there? Well, I'm putting all my threads together, which I've just done. They're all together now. I think one's escaped, but... You've made quite the mess. 
It won't be messy in a minute. It'll look really tidy. Mm -hmm. mm. That's your way of tidying that. Make it really messy. And Is this sweep it under the cupboard thing again? No. You always fill one room up with all the rubbish <gasps> and then you clean in. one room and then you move all the rubbish back into the other room and you clean She's having room. a go at me. Notice how she does this when we're on camera so I can't be horrible and say, Shut up, woman! <laughs> I'm just going to snip this off here because it's annoying me. Keep your hands in one place. You don't want I'm the background in. I'm about to turn it around. Like Ready? It's turning. Because I'm right-handed. I need to do that. And what I'm going to do is take this up the seam, hidden inside the seam, mm -hmm. wiggle, 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 like a snake, up the seam. And it's not going up inside very well. It is. I Look can see the needle. Just because you've got good eyes. Mm. <clears throat> Pull it through. She's horrible to me. I think I think you know this has just just got to stop. This is just horrible the way she's being to me. Turning it around again. Watch out. There we go. Here it goes through. Sorry, I knocked the camera. Pulling through. Pulling through. Pulling through. Are you going to snip it off at the end or what? No. If I snip it off at the end now, it's all going to come undone it's and be. be up there. No. I've got to go back on myself now just to mm. make sure it's secure. So time consuming. Oh, it's got to be done right. It's already 26 minutes long. Is that video this long? I oh, wonder if our viewers will still be with us. If you're still with us, please give us a comment. Give me some thumbs up as well. There we go. Look, finished down to there. I pull it. Is my needle long enough, do you think? There we go. Pull all the threads so they're hidden. That is hidden in the joint. You cannot see it. It's not actually. There's a bump there. You can see where it's been stuffed into it. Oh, she's just being horrible to me. This? Yeah, look at that obvious bump there. I don't think we're going to go over it with a fine tooth comb just to see. Wonder where the person hid the joint. <laughs> We've got one here that I'm going to do. Uh, do you want to watch me thread the needle again forever? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Two hours later. Ready. There's a hole in the needle and there's the thread. Are they going to say hello to it? Oh, oh there's a puppy Did in I miss room. it? Yeah, I missed it. Try again. No, I missed it. You're making the camera go out of focus. Never mind the camera. I can't even see the hole in the needle anymore. Yeah. It's a big hole. What's wrong with you? <gasps> I did it. Success. Do you know the optician said there's nothing wrong with my eyes? Do you think <laughs> he's right? Mm, don't think so. No, I'm beginning to think he might be a bit wrong there. He said it's optional whether I need to wear glasses or not. Hmm. Right, so we're going to go up the seam again, hiding it inside. Just like that. What, the Pull other it side now? Yeah, it's, it's hidden inside. Is this the other oh, side? Oh no, I've unthreaded there? my needle. That's going to take me forever to thread it up again. So I'm just going to push the needle ready to go through. You're making it very chunky. It is a chunky garment. Not in a nice way. Do you think though. I'll get it through? No. Yeah. I did. Look at mm -hmm. that. Are you saying my garment's not nice? There we go. Yeah. Pull it straight. Cut the end off. Right, gang. You don't need to watch me stitch two more, two more uh, buttons on. Look, we've got that one on. I'm going to carry on and stitch these two on and I'll catch you in a moment and we'll get the model to wear it and see what she thinks of it. It may not even fit her. That would be a bit embarrassing after all of this if the thing doesn't fit her. Yeah, the neck's already too tight. Oh, shush! Right, see you in a minute. Bye. There we are. It's finished. Button stitched on. Interesting pattern. Tabitha Tabard with sloping shoulders and a rib each side. And we'll get Lily to try it on now. Come on, Lil, put it on. So, Lily, what do you think of it? It's a very nice material. Yes. That's it. She would have liked it longer, mm -hmm. but we didn't have enough yarn to make it longer. It is exactly the measurements we wanted it to be. No, it, isn't. it is the measurements I chose it to be. The neck looks lovely. The button detail looks very nice. I'm happy with the ribbing design here on the edge. 
What do you guys think? Do you think we did a nice job? Turn around again, Lily. There we are. Thanks for watching and all of that. Please like, subscribe, share and give me a comment so I know you're there. And let Lily know what you think of her new jumper that she probably isn't going to keep. Do you like it or not? Yeah, I like it. Are you going to keep it? I don't know. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.